Guys, let us look at example one where we have to take the product of two complex numbers which are expressed in their trig form. So we want to find z1 times z2. So in order to find the z1 times z2, guys, we kind of go, have to go back and recall the fact that the product of two complex numbers can be evaluated by just taking the product of their respective absolute values r. So like this is my r1 and this is my r2, right? So we take the product of that and then got to multiply by the cosine of the sum of the angles. Guys, when we multiply, we have to take the sum. When we divide, we have to subtract. We have to take the difference of the angle. So it is going to be 40 for this one. This is like my theta one and this is my theta two. So got to sum 40 plus 20 and then plus i times sine of the same thing, sine of the sum 40 plus 20. That's how we take the product of two complex numbers. Going, moving forward, guys, simplifying this, three times four is 12 and then uh, guys, uh, I forgot to mention that our, our goal is to multiply this and then we want to basically write it in the standard form, which is A plus IB form. And then this is cosine of 60 plus I times sine of 60. So now this is simplified into the trig form, but now we want to convert it back into the standard form, which is not too difficult, guys. We already know how to do that. We just have to go back and look at our unit circle and from the unit circle we got to replace or substitute the values for the cosine and the sine. In this case I have cosine of 60 and I'm going to look at my unit circle and from my unit circle I can see that the cosine of 60 is one half and the sine of 60 is uh, radical 3 over 2. When I simplify this further which means I just have to distribute that positive 12 it's going to be 12 times one half so 12 times one half is just six again 12 has to be divided by two it is still going to be six but there's an i 6 radical 3. So guys, this is in the A plus IB form. So you start by multiplying these and you have to use the fact that when we take the product, you just take the sum, you multiply the respective R1, Rs, the absolute values, and you take the sum of the angles. Guys, this is basically how we multiply two complex numbers which are provided to us in a trig or a polar form. This is the product. Guys, I want to show you another example where we divide two complex numbers. I will do that in the next video.